So in this video, what we're going to do is just do a little bit of practice of how we can use the binomial expansion. And we're going to try and expand 1 minus 3x all to the power of a half using this expansion. We're going to try it for the first four terms. So calculators at the ready because it can get a little bit messy. So, n is 1 half, and in, we don't quite have 1 plus x here, we have 1 minus 3x. So I'll show you how that works. We're going to have the 1 plus n, so 1 half, times x. Now x isn't just x that I have there, x is actually now minus 3x. So you replace each of the x's with minus 3x, and make sure you use a bracket. If you don't use a bracket, things are going to get messy, and you're not going to square or cube or to the power of 4, that minus 3. So then I've got this term, this, the next term. So I've got 1 half times 1 half minus 1, which is minus a half, all over 1 times 2 times x squared. Well, that's minus 3x squared. Notice I'm putting it in a bracket. Then the next term, 1 half times minus a half, take away another half, would be minus, uh, take away another 1, so it's minus 3 halves, all over 1 times 2 times 3, x to the power of 3, so minus 3x cubed, plus other terms, I'm not going to go any further than that, so this is where the calculator is going to come in handy, so I've got 1, Take away 3 halves x, then I've got 1 half uh, times a half uh, divided by 2 uh, times by minus 3 squared, so I should get minus 9 eighths x squared. Then I've got a half uh, times minus a half times 3 halves. Uh, divided by 1 times 2 times 3, so divided by 6, then I'm going to be timesing that by minus 3 cubed, so minus 3 cubed gets me minus um, 27 over 16 x cubed, okay, plus other terms. So that's how we can substitute into the binomial expansion when it's looking like this. So make sure that you're using your bracket around your minus 3x in this case to make sure you don't make any silly mistakes with the coefficient.